how about discussing this massive business loan of credit from a blue vine? We're talking a quarter of a million. Isn't that fantastic? A quarter of a million. In some cases, you might get all the way to five million dollars. Amazing. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. to another edition of the awesome Sir kiwi show how are you today i hope you're all doing fantastic i'm doing marvelous if you had to ask me if you are doing as fantastic as i am go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll <laughs> in today's convo i want to speak to you about a massive business line of credit from blue vine and we're talking about a, a range of a quarter of a million all the way to five million dollars okay but before I get into the nitty-gritty, please understand that we have no affiliation, no relationship with Blue Vine, and this show is purely educational and purely instructional, okay? Now, let's talk about the loan facts. So here you have an unsecured line of credit, and you also have an invoice factoring arrangement, and the amount is up to $250,000 or up to $5 million, depending on the, uh, the loan or the financing arrangement you want. And the APR can go as low as 4.8%. There are no fees. You have a revolving term. This is a business line of credit. Okay. And uh, time to funding, five minutes. Literally, five minutes. That's what uh, that's what Blue Vine says on their website. But it's more like 24 hours. Okay. And there are no extra conditions. So the cool thing here is that with uh, a line of credit from a Blue Vine or for, from any other player for that matter, you only pay for what you use. Okay. So there are no prepayment penalties. Okay. So the funds are available on demand. And this is kind of good if you really think about it, because then you can enjoy you can enjoy a peace of mind, right? You have the money available to you for any business expense, and you only pay for what you use. You access uh, a revolving line, and your finance that grows. You kind of have uh, access to financing that grows with your company. So that's for the line of credit, and about the invoice factoring. This is kind of cool too because uh, Bluevine allows you to turn unpaid invoices into cash, and the credit lines can go all the all the way to five million dollars. And when we speak about invoice factoring, we are speaking about a collateralized credit arrangement because the accounts receivable, those invoices, constitute the collateral that underlies the the loan. Okay, and uh, you can fund only the invoices you want. And there are no long-term contracts here. And here, the rates can go as low as 0.25% per week. You have approval as fast as 24 hours. And you can access more capital with full, full flexibility. Okay. And the cool thing about uh, invoice factoring is that you can actually free up your cash. All right. Because unlike a traditional loan, there are no recurring payments when your customer pays by the invoice due date. Let me quickly talk about this lender at a glance. Let's talk about Blue Vine. But before we actually talk about Blue Vine, folks, I want to remind you that I'm speaking to you about a massive business line of credit from Blue Vine up to a quarter of a million. And if you consider the uh, invoice factoring arrangements, you are talking about a line of credit that can go all the way to $5 million, okay? And all kinds of credit are welcome. Bad credit, fair credit, good credit. This is essentially an EIN only business lending arrangements so the lender here so when we talk about blue vine what is blue vine blue vine is really an online lending service simple as that okay so they actually were funded up about 10 years ago and what they do is they, they are very good because they allow you to actually uh, get the funds you need real fast and they offer invoice factoring and uh, lines of lines of credit back in the days they used to also uh offer some loans but the thing here is that there has been some strategic shifts around how they want to conduct their business so now they're focusing only on a business line of credit and invoice factory and you have to understand that when it comes to uh, blue vine the fees can get a little expensive because uh if i if you remember earlier i was talking to you about the fact that they charge as low as 0.25 percent per week per week for the invoice factoring thing think about it 
How many weeks do you have in a year? 52, right? And you want to multiply 0 0.25 times 52. And, and you can see what I'm talking about. Now, you might say, oh, it's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing because you're, you're not thinking about compounding. It, when you add the compounding effect, it can be very huge. What are the pros and cons here? Pros, financing is available for startups and entrepreneurs. Low credit score qualifications. The application is fast and easy, and funds can get dispersed real quickly. This is really good. What about the drawbacks? So financing is not available in some states, and rates can be very expensive. I just talked about that. Repayments are required quickly, and customer service is inconsistent. And uh, so after evaluating this lender, Bluevine, on tens of criteria, including the loan variety, the loan amount generosity, the cost, the reputation, the customer service, we assign the company a score of 9.5 over 10. And uh, if you go on online, you can see that uh, accolades are usually uh, positive, reviews are, posi are usually positive about Bluevine. Uh, for example, if you see on Trustpilot, they have received an aggregate score of 4.5 stars out of 5 from uh, 6,631 reviews. So this is pretty good, this is excellent. Now let's talk about eligibility criteria. How do you qualify for this massive business line of credit from Bluevine? Maximum line of credit, $250,000. Maximum amount for the invoice factoring uh, deal, $5 million. How do you qualify for that? First of all, here are the, the borrower requirements. So Bluevine borrow, Bluevine's borrower requirements vary by products, okay? So for example, if you, when we're talking about the line of credit, so the, line of, the lines of credit are offered with repayment periods of either six or 12 months. Okay, this is the, the lack of flexibility I was referring to earlier. So it's either six months or, not, or 12 months. Mm. To qualify, your business must meet the following minimum requirements. So time in business, six months. Credit score, 600. In some cases, they can go as low as 525 if you have the right application. And your business revenue, $120,000 per year. In other words, $10,000 per month, okay? And the Blue Vines lines of credit are not currently available in North Dakota and South Dakota. And the product is available to most industries except for financial services and nonprofits, okay? So that's for the lines of credit. And then you have the invoice factoring. So invoice factoring is available for B2B, business to business, B2G, business to government businesses so they only focus right now on b2b and b2g so if you want to qualify for invoice factoring you really want to, you want your customers to be other businesses or government agencies you can see right from the from the get-go that blue vine is trying to stay they're trying to stay away from uh, the b2c businesses because it's less risky right so this is something you need to think about but to qualify you must have eligible unpaid invoices as well as meet the requirements below so time in business three months your credit score 530 in some cases they can go all the way to 475 your business revenue must be at least one hundred uh, ten thousand dollars per month okay additionally you must be a u.s based and uh, invoice factoring is available in all 50 states and that makes sense because uh, invoice factoring is not really a lending practice it is not regulated this is more like a business transaction Whereas a line of credit or a loan or a credit card, those things are considered a lending from a regulatory perspective. So they are regulated. They are overseen. Okay. Something you need to think about. So one thing I want to say here is that Bluevine can go as low as 530 or 525 for the business line of credit under some circumstances. I want to talk to you now about use of loan proceeds. So folks, in this show, I am talking to you about a massive business line of credit from Bluevine. And I'm also talking to you about uh, a, an invoice factoring arrangement. So for the business line of credit, $250,000, that's the maximum limit. And for the invoice factoring arrangement, $5 million, that's the cap. Okay, so the use of loan proceeds, what, do you, what can you use the money for? The thing here is that it is really up to you. 
because when we talk about business line of credit there is no actually no restrictions on how you can use the money usually most businesses and, and i'm pretty sure this applies to you also use the funds to take care of a everyday thing take take care of a operational needs okay and uh, so everything from purchasing inventory let's say you are there is a gap there is a, a timing gap between when you get your cash from uh, your customers and when you have to pay vendors and you see an opportunity where you need to purchase inventory to uh, to be able to sell then you can use a line of credit to sort of uh, replenish or to sort of take care of that that uh, mismatch temporary mismatch in terms of liquidity okay you can use a blue vine line of credit to repair business critical equipment so let's say you own a garage right and some there is some some problem in the building some structural problem in the buildings you can't just wait for days no you got to take care of it asap right and this is where you actually can pay you can use the business line of credit to pay the you know the professionals to come and do the work you could also use a line of credit from Blue Vine to finance a marketing campaign. For example, we all know that a lot of people, a lot of businesses rather, make, they earn a lot of cash during the holiday season, right? Let's say it is September, October, and you just realize that your cash position is very lethargic. It's very uh, sclerotic, right? Things are not moving in the right direction. You're not getting any, any cash in, in, your, in your coffers. Then you can tap into your business line of credit to 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 actually take care of the financing take care of the marketing rather take care of the the ad campaign let's say you want to launch a facebook ad campaign or you want to launch some uh, commercials you want to place some commercials in the local media you need cash for that you can use the blue line of credit for that you can also use the blue line line of credit to bridge a seasonal cash flow gap that, that's what I was talking to you earlier when I said there was a gap between when you get money from your customers and when you have to pay your vendors, okay? So overall, just keep in mind that Blue Vines lines of credit are issued by Utah-based Celtic Bank, okay? Because Blue Vine, at the end of the day, is not, a, is not a financial institution, as you know that, right? They are a fintech company, a financial technology company. So they're not, they, they have no license from the you know, Federal Reserve or other regulatory authority to conduct business as a lender. They go through, a, you know, a, a real lender. They provide the platform. They provide the technology, but they're not a lender. I'll be right back. Right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Studio Kiwi Show. I'm still having a conversation with you about Blue Vine, and we're talking about a massive Blue Vine line of credit. Maximum loan amount, not a loan, maximum line amount is uh, $250,000. The maximum uh, amount for invoice factoring is half a million. Okay, and this, those are EIN only. All kinds of credit profiles are welcome. And uh, if you need let's talk about the evidence needed one thing i want to say here is that you want to call blue vine if you need information before or during the application we recommend that you do this before that way because they don't put all the information on their website in terms of the evidence needed and we need we reached out to them during uh, our preparation for this show but you never know things change all the time they are a lender i mean they work with lenders they have to manage risk on a daily basis so you want to call them so you have the latest piece of information before applying okay and um, so what you need to get started you need to get 600 fico 530 in some cases right so you want to talk to a loan specialist to kind of clarify that you want to be in business for at least six months and you want to have ten thousand dollars in monthly revenue and you have to be able to prove that okay and you can prove the six months in business through something called your articles of incorporation or articles of uh, organization if you're an alc Remember that you have to be a business. Blue Vine does not finance sole proprietorship. You got to have a real business. You know, you got to you, you, you have to incorporate. And this is kind of good for you, too, because then you can shield yourself from uh, legal per, legal uh, issues. OK, so you got to be an LLC, LP, or an S corporate or C corp. So you can prove that you can prove uh, the operational history 
you can even prove how long you have been you have been in business through your financial statements for example right and the financial statements can also show your uh the ten thousand dollars that you make on a monthly basis you can show that and you also need to have basic details about you and your business you need to have a bank connection or year-to-date bank statements so bluevine and, and i will explain this later on bluevine wants to actually uh, connect their system to your bank account so they can tell what's really going on behind closed doors so and you can't you know just in case you um you are tempted to lie to them at least they have that you know th that's why they don't want to rely on uh let me just say it this way they are a financial techno technology company fintech company so they have come up with a great strategy to make sure that you know no borrower is is tempted to uh you know to actually bend the truth really when it comes to the information on their uh, application all right folks number five let's talk about how to apply how do you apply and of course we are talking about what we're talking about a large massive business line of credit from blue vine maximum amount two hundred fifty thousand dollars and we are also talking about a large invoice factoring arrangement and maximum amount here is five million okay now let's talk about how to apply now you can apply via email fax a web form or over the phone but in today's conversation i'm going to show you how to apply online so when you click on the blue vine when you are on blue vine and you click uh, get started you have two options they say how can we help you business line of credit or business check-in the business checking thing you don't have to uh, click on it right now it's just a way for a blue vine to collect email um, emails from potential uh, customers and also to gauge the feasibility of their business checking services so you don't have that this is just a market employee for them to get data and uh, so if they you know if they have a long wait list then they know the product is definitely uh, it's definitely a popular but you want to click on start application okay for the business not a credit because that's really what we're here for and you move on to the next screen where you just input how much you need you put the information you put the which uh, financing type line of credit you have to put your first and last name you have to put your phone number right your email address and your your, uh, your password okay pretty straightforward and next thing is that they want you to tell tell them about your business so you put your your company name you put your address you put your phone number your annual revenue remember the minimum was uh, ten thousand dollars per per month so they have 120 per per year in this case for educational purposes we put two hundred thousand and uh, we are you put the industry you're in your customers your customers must must be b2b or b2g remember that that's why they're asking you here and the entity type we put lc you can't not be a sole proprietorship and you have to put your uh, ein number right this is something important and if we move on here you have to they want you to connect your bank account as i was telling you this is important they're not even ask they're not asking you more information about your assets liability or your financial statements they just want you to connect your bank account so they can check things them things themselves so this is how you do it so you click connect your bank account so you know once you have that you're gonna have the next screen where they're asking you to continue so they use played to connect uh, to do the uh, the connection so you have to click uh, continue once you click continue you have the next next year you, you will see a list a catalog of banks okay and you pick the one where you are currently banking this is the institution where you're currently banking in our case we picked the uh, Citibank so you have to click click one and then you move on to the next screen here so the system is uh, really uh, verifying your information It'll, this probably takes 30 seconds when we tested it, it took 30 seconds and then uh, they want you to verify your identity so you have to put your email and uh, you and they will set what do and you click continue okay so once you have to do that and then well, they will send you an email with a code and once you you have to click on that code you have to copy that code and paste it so that uh, you can enter uh, so you have to verify your email so you put once you put this you put the code and you click submit that's it so after connecting your business bank account they will ask a few questions about you personally and that's it 
So you can see that really the application is very uh, is very fast. Okay. So now let me give you a few pro tips, folks, to contextualize this conversation and really uh, get close to uh, ending it. I'm talking to you about a very generous business line of credit from uh, Blue Vine. Maximum line amount two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and we're also talking about an invoice factoring arrangement. Maximum amount five million. Okay, and if you want to increase your chances of being approved with uh, Blue Vine, you want not only to provide all the information that they ask you on on the application, but you also want to get your documents in order because simply because everything is done electronically doesn't mean that they're not going to ask you for a paper verification. They might ask, for example, to see your tax returns for the last three years in paper form, for example. They might ask to see uh, other, they might ask to see your articles of incorporation or articles of organization in paper form. They might ask, so it really, really, so you really want to keep your documents in order. And when we speak about keeping your documents in order, we're also th uh, talking about making sure your accounting records and your accounting controls, the controls over your accounting systems are solid okay because this is what's going to lend credibility to your business application this is what's going to make uh, blue vines uh, under blue vines underwriters more comfortable in the solidity of your loan application and more comfortable in the truthfulness in the integrity of the data you are providing to them okay and all along you want to work on demonstrating sufficient cash flow you want to work on um, making sure that even though you might have a temporary cash problems which, which is why you're asking which is why you want to have an invoice factoring arrangement or you want to have a, a line of credit you still are positive you still are positive in terms of income okay and one thing you also need to do please you want to constantly stay in contact with uh, your blue vine loan specialist once they issue you the line of credit you they're going to assign to you some uh, like there will be a staff member who will actually uh, sort of follow through with you. You want to have, you want to stay in close contact with that person. You want to ask more information because that person is going to help you. Who knows? Maybe you might want to uh, increase the line of credit from two hundred fifty thousand all the way to half a million. This is your person. This is the person you should be talking to, who will understand your business and who might help you get the funds you need, the additional funds you need. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. I will speak to you another time. But today I was talking to you about uh, a massive business line of credit from Blue Vine and an invoice factory and arrangement from Blue Vine. I gave you the loan facts. I give you an overview, the lender at a glance, the eligibility criteria, the, lose of, the use of loan proceeds, the evidence needed, how to apply. And last but not the least, I give you some. I give you a few pro tips. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.